Hi and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Last time we went into the Dwarven Ruins of this name cannot never be pronounced by anyone in the world to, well, basically explore the ruins. We found uh, some kind of abandoned ore mine shaft thing, followed it, and found this room with this neat contraption that I actually would love to seek from close up, but I don't see any way to get there. So let's just head back and explore on. So since I can't pronounce the name, name of the ruins, and I'm pretty sure nobody else in the world can, these are the ruins right next to the Mora that you see when you, went, when you go over and follow the Foyada Mamea. Should have had a little drink in between episodes because my throat is now tickling a lot from being dry from talking so much. But that's just my bad. Now I need to suffer for my bad decisions. That's how life works. Okay, I hear another enemy to actually wait for my fatigue to restore a little bit. So the spell... a chest. So basically this was a place of more loot. Which also means we now have to basically get back. Or not just basically, we have to get back. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Drop one of these. And head to the city. Selling is going to go on. So this is an interesting find. Do I know you? Up there actually was some loot that I've never seen before. I'm pretty sure that I haven't seen this, never, never thought about going there in previous runs. Here. I have some more stuff for you, yes. You might find this very, very interesting. Look at this. Green. I need a button to mute my microphone for when I need to cough, which I need to do now. Instead, I am going to fill my glass with something to drink. Which is what I forgot to do beforehand. And just take a swig of beverage. What you're hearing is a metal straw, which is pretty awesome because you can clean it and reuse it and drink from it very easily. And I can for me, spare drinking a from a straw means that I actually drink faster and more, which is kind of weird because there's only so much that, that can go Greetings through a straw. To you, Khajiit. But um, for some reason, I drink faster and thus more with it. So I this is unexpected, drink with a straw but very not often. Hmm. I now again forgot that I can just use 
recall. I want to go back to the ruins. So just give me a quick checking. <laughs> Sadly, there is nothing more. There is only the loot that we found here. I was hoping that there is an alternative route that leads us up there and we can like, inspect this mechanism up close. On the other hand, sadly, these mechanisms in that game are basically not interactable. That would be quite awesome if you could repair them or use them somehow. Okay, so we've seen all of this. I think it's time to head back from this part. On the other hand, I do want to kill more spiders. So I'm going to follow the sound. That is really unwelcome because now we're kind of cornered, but we can always hit around. I was not expecting one of these specters, but honestly, we can just head around, have a spider, and get out of here. I know I don't plan to flee, I simply plan to heal up and get our magic cut back. This grave curse upon us, which drains our willpower, but after sleeping, after resting in the ruins, pitching our tents there, we are completely magic healed again. And the specter also knows that we are here. I'm going to real quick recharge magicka, which also means that I'm, that I'm saving because. The game saves on rest. T for rest until healed. And after the fight with the Spectre, I'm going to check the rest of the ruins because I don't want to bore you too much. Okay. I don't know where it is. Let's just head on. So we saw all of this here, this is, I, I really like this red light coming from the magma, although this is just like, I know this is a light source hanging in the air, which just gives up, gives off red light randomly. So this is still something we can, do I have, of course I don't have a rising force, because rising force would be something we could use, this is basically, uh, you call it levitation. This was where we actually went and went back. Yep. This is where we actually went. And there is another one of these awesome big mechanic things. I, I, I love this. I, this is why I love Warp Ruins. And sadly this would not be allowed like as a display thing in a hotel except for when there was this big window over here or something because you can just pinch your hand in one of these cog wheels but it looks really awesome and we're over the since we can I just take one so so I'm going to do the trinity again I think when we have looted these ruins clean, I'm gonna have enough money to afford some things. I might check out the armor smiths if they have glass armor, which is the best light armor. Although our unarmored skill actually is the best. Yeah, I might actually stay unarmored. Well, we will see. 
We could also just train other skills, right? Okay, Ravier, more stuff for you to buy. This mug, for example, and the two cog wheels. And you know what? I'm just giving you the mug for free. Off to Jira. Your actions precede you, Outlander. I've heard good things. You are very much, very much liked in the Mages Guild. Well, what have we here? Interesting. And there is more ingredients for our friend Ajira. Okay, so. How may I help you, Kajit? Yes, they are. An adventurer, I presume. And just use three. And we got a, ourselves a skill increase, which is awesome. So let us jump all the things. So that's what you do when you go to go in hunting. A lock pick, which I think I'm going to sell. And I already went around once. Get that shell. Okay, perfect. So, this is all of the centrifuge. This is where we're heading next. Drop my quick save. Okay, it is very quiet here. So, it looks like this is actually. Actually, the entrances that we. This is where we went in, and this is where you went out. So we have seen all of this. <laughs> On the other hand, there is an entrance to Weeping Bell Hall here and the Cells of the Hollow Hand. I think, though, that we are through the whole. the whole ruins which means we're going to you know just head back <laughs> and check what else quests we can do we are now we've now grown pretty strong so we might now just head over and do the quests that we couldn't do because we were too weak First, sell all that stuff. Go. And this, and also the fishing pole. And you don't buy the lockpicks. Okay, I'm going to sell them elsewhere. I'm not going to head to elsewhere though. This would be far too far away. And thank you very much. check out so this was so many of the things were like on the way to Aldrun so I'm going to follow the route to Aldrun but before I do so I'm going to do something else not within the game but without because I am going to Yes. Do a time lapse of this. Okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse of this. And for this, I need a little preparation. I don't have the second computer. This was my fault. I didn't fetch it, so I need to recreate that Excel sheet. Um,. And yes, I'm going to put this into the time lapse also. So regular time. That would be like until first 14 minutes, zero to 14. And now this is way faster than before. 
time lapse. Four times would be 14 till something. And total would be this. Perfect. So now I can just enter the numbers when the time lapse is finished. And with a 4 times time lapse, this should be very fast. Also, I'm heading to Aldun, so I'm going to guild travel to Caldera first. Let us head up here. So with a 4 times time lapse, when I finish this your finish actions this precede you I've heard good things within the time lapse this would mean I'm around at 15 minutes so it's like one hour of well met original greetings that I needed to add to get the second 15 minutes and I want to go to Caldera and walk to Aldrun from there because there were many ah greetings what shall Many we quests talk about? over there. Ah, friend! How does the day greet you? See, the whole major skill likes me now. So let us head up to... Towards Aldrun. <clears throat> There was, for example, that naked man whom we are currently approaching who will fight us in the quest. Either we need to fight him or we need to find fight someone else. Hail and well met, stranger. As ye can plainly see, I require some assistance, if ye be kind enough to grant it. I need help finding the festering witch who has robbed me blind and left me for dead. What kind of festering witch, you mean? A witch she had to be. I was on my way to Caldera when I met her. She was a stranger here like myself, and our conversations lightened the burden of travel. She was quite friendly, and, well, you know, we set up camp together. But that night she revealed the witch inside cast a spell on me. I couldn't so much as blink. Stole everything, even my worn out clothes and most importantly she took my prized axe, Cloud Cleaver. Join with me, stranger, and let's find her and extract her entrails together. I will help you find her. I knew you had the bloodlust in you, stranger. I believe she's still camped where I left her up to the northwest, though I could be wrong as the spell disoriented me a bit. It did. You know this area better than me. Lead the way. This witch shall rue the day she met Holomar Winesot. How about this? What about this Cloud Cleaver? Ah, me ex Cloud Cleaver. A fine blade she is, though now I fear that that witch's touch will do to it. Me own father, Balmir, used it himself to slay the terror of Rothgar's quagmire. He did. Now granted the terror turned out to be a newborn Nixhound eating the neighbor's marshmallow, but me father found him and slew him nevertheless, in as grand a fashion as I have ever borne witness to. I cannot wait to have the blade in my hands again, then I'll use it to take that witch's head clean off, I will. Uh, goodbye. So I know for a fact that this witch is also somewhere along the road. Yeah, you fight the rat and I watch. Oh, maybe I don't watch that much. And kill the rat. I was just basically afraid that I might also accidentally hit him. 
Okay, will you still follow me to the witch? Let's just uh, heal. Because we're outside, we can do this. So basically, if I remember correctly, this witch is actually... Oh, you will see her for yourself. He was... Let me real quick check the journal. He said something about northwest. And north... West we go. Yeah. So I think she's also just somewhere here on the road. Oh, that's... I don't suppose that that's her. I think that's someone else. Oh, it could be. Could actually... No. That's when... People walk fast. It's... I'm a busy gal, so if you could hurry this up. Yeah. Uh, interested in making a deal? No. That's the wrong person. So I think I'm on the wrong road. It's inter also interesting how she just ignores the naked guy following me. Also, so much for. Um, <laughs> for time lapsing because uh, he was so close. I don't need to time lapse here. Is it the back road where? Well, this is more the northeast than the northwest, but I know that she. There she is. I, I think this must be her. Let me real quick talk to her before he arrives. Socia Karistana. Hello there, stranger. I see you've already met my good friend Lomar. My name is Socia Karistina, Christiana, the healer. How can I be of assistance to the two of you? Well, you know about Lomar. Ha! A red funny story that one is. The true story, Nighty, is that I took Lomar on as a traveling companion for protection only for the road to Caldera. Along the way he was getting entirely too friendly for his own good, to the point where I actually had to cast a sleep spell on him. Just to teach him a lesson in manners, I stripped him and left him by the road, and to be sure he didn't come after me for attribution, I took that cloud cleaver he's always fawning over as well. Uh, well, you know, he's really fond of that cloud cleaver, can't you kind of settle the thing? Oh, I don't think he's ready to get it back quite yet. I can still see the rage burning in the, oh, those tiny Nord eyes of his. However, if he meets me in three days at the Mages Guild in Keldera, I will return everything I have of his. But not a minute sooner. Tell him that is Socia's offer. Oh, so you're a fellow Guild Mage. That changes things, of course. Yes, I will tell him your offer. And there he comes, naked as he was born. Well, I have a off an offer from her for you. Well, I'll not be waiting another three days to have me bloody axe when it is in the hands of that damned witch. Are you going to help me, friend, or are you believing the lies spilling out of that witch's face? I actually believe Socia. This is too easy. Then you will die alongside her. So now I need actually to wait, wait for him to hit me first. You will die where you stand. Because else, yeah, that's the thing that usually happens with this with this sort of thing. Wow, he is he is pretty tough. Okay, so I want to restore my fatigue because I will fall over when I'm when my fatigue is low, like this. You're growing weak. And I'm going to do this. So this basically is the reason why I um why I did not do the quest before. Okay, so now I have the spark three. Let me try out the paralysis for ten points of magicka. I am. I can't do anything because I'm still laying on the ground. 
and he just hit me once and I lay back on the ground. And I can just can basically just hit me as often as he wants. I can still bring potions, but I can't do How does it feel to know death is near? And since he now walked to the left and right, I can't even cast the spell. I need to turn around, which means he can hit me, and I fall down again. So this now you know why I did not do this quest. So basically, can I tell him to wait? No, that's a thing. He will follow me till the end of days or till I actually managed to kill him. On the other hand, the major guild in Caldera is pretty close. I'm going to stock up on more potions. Namely, the ones that make me do magic and the ones that make me not fall over. So the thing is, if he dies before this quest kind of unravels, um, the quest will count as failed, and I will not get any reward. Yeah, now it just attacked me. That's good. It actually is, because I can now... Yeah. I can do this. Exactly. And I can fail casting the spell, but he actually killed the next one. Perfect. Now come on and follow me. I need to buy some more potions in order to be able to kill you, which you don't know yet. So he will follow me for all eternity, or until he basically loses sight of me, which means he will stand somewhere, and I don't know where, and I can't finish the quest either. So, yeah. I'm now bound to finish that quest. So I need to stock up on potions, which is okay. We now have money to. What do you want, stuff. Outlander? Actually, not this. I want to have some potions. How about? For Magica. Restore Magica. Well, it does say. 20 points for 5 seconds, which is way too much for us. We don't have so much Magicka that it... Or actually, it is, it is for 5 seconds, so this means we can buy one of these. One of these. Like, hoping that in, in 5 seconds the fight is over, which is a bit... Uh, what's the word? Um, naive, but still. Let's see if we can actually make it cheaper. No, we can't. Well, a little bit cheaper. Thank you very much. Now let's try doing that again. Which ones do I have? I haven't yet talked to um, Solskia yet, so I need to find her again, else I could have just done that in the city. Have him attack me, have him hit me once, and then kill him. on the way because you can't have enough I 
things. Is this the correct road? I want the Aldrun back road. This must be still the right road. Okay. Ah, this is this is the fucking road where I have to go right to get to the witch and not to the one proposing me an offer. Okay, so follow me, perfect. skill increased even more. Cliff Racer. Cliff Racer and I'm out of Magicka. And I can rest here, that is good. Let me restore the Magicka. So when the Cliff Racer should come, I can actually kill him. So, again, we're going to get the offer Perfect. yes and we're going to save and deliver the offer to him and tell him that ah we believe her how does it feel to know death is near look how much damage he does to my um fatigue so I'm going to take these three Now I accidentally hit her, gotcha. which means she is going to try and kill me too. For example, by casting burden. You on will me. die where you stand. I should load and head a little for head a bit further away from her. Let us get away from her. Nearly killed him. And save again. No. The offer. I will you will learn. die where you stand. You should have picked Bye. an easier opponent. I think this now comes as that I was the one attacking him, not the other way around. So I want to restore fatigue and magic. He didn't get it. <laughs> The biggest thing actually is that he's running around and I might not hit him. And still have these two. Now I need to use Spark 2 because the other one is too expensive. I think Spark 2 is also in the way. Yep, I can't restore fatigue and it's going to be <sighs> Really. I'm going to try to load and try again. Because basically I've failed one spell cast. So, I bought that offer. I You're growing her. weak. Ha! Restore Magicka. Restore the food. Ah. I managed to hit me. Really, really fast. That's, that's one of the problems. You should have picked an easier opponent. How does it feel to know death is near? It is really annoying that I fail to cast the spell twice, which is, yeah, basically because my magic is nearly zero, which means I can't cast the spell. Take off 
the robe or my clothing. I want to drink that potion fist. And my magic is empty and I can't recharge it and I'm basically effed. And that's it. I'm, I'm not dead yet, but basically I'm again in the loop where, where he just throws me down. So I need more of these potions to restore fatigue and magicka. But all of this is going to happen in the next episode, because for now, with this mighty warrior <laughs> and this poor girl that he was uh, molesting, I bid you farewell, cut over to the dice, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye!